Hey guys, I'm Fergus, I'm from Ireland, and I'm two-time Tekken World Tour finalist in Tekken 7, and I'm here to help you learn how to play at Lily. Side notes, apologies to all Oscar players for this betrayal of making a tutorial for Lily. I hope you can find your hearts to forgive me. Thank you. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Frame for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. Lily really excels in sidestepping and sidewalking, meaning that she makes it very difficult for the opponent to apply pressure on her. Because of Lily's sidestep, the opponent's going to be afraid to attack versus her, so they tend to block and respect Lily, meaning she can go with so many plus rare moves such as Den for 3, Corsair for 3 plus 4, and when they're freezing up, she can harass them with strong lows such as Den 3, Den 1 2, and 4 4 4, and, they all, and Lily can also harass with her back turn pressure. Lily to me is a bit more rush line orientated with many opportunities for Kusemi because of her strong knock punishment, such as 2 4. For early punishment and was signing for for early punishment as well she also hits like a truck thanks for a new tornado move in course of the three which was introduced in tekken 8 so her damage output is very very high as well so let's get into the key moves with lily and show how she can be played in better detail so first of all we have to talk about lily's jab lily has a very strong jab we have great reach and her one two is also plus eight on hits which is more than your average one two she also has access to 1-1, one, one, which is a G clef, so on counter hit, the whole string is natural combo, which is pretty strong to have for a character like Lily. Lily can also make the opponent freeze up because of 1-2-3 and 1-2-4, which is a mid and a low. So if your opponent likes to disrespect Lily after a blocked 1-2, you can throw in the follow-ups to make them freeze up. Lily's 1-1, one, one, as mentioned before, she goes into the back turn, so if the opponent is looking out for the follow-up, this is when you can harass her back turn game, which I'll talk about more later on. One of Lily's main mids is going to be her Dunford 1. Her Dunford 1 is her fast mid at 13 frame. This is typically going to be your main check in most situations because of its speed and its range as well. And it's only minus 1 on block, which means Lily can still utilize her sidestep to enforce a mental frame advantage. Dunford 3 is also going to be one of her main mids with Lily. As you can see, it's plus 3 on block. So this is one of the cornerstones of Lily's plus frame pressure game for when your opponent starts to freeze up because of Lily's sidestep and on counter hit it gives you a full combo. Forward 4 is also going to be another move that you're going to want to use with Lily. Forward 4 is a very long reaching uh, mid that launches on counter hit. So if you think your opponent's going to approach Lily in a bad way you can use this move as a keep out tool. So you can use that also a high frame advantage. So for example, after one, two, if your opponent likes to mash here, you can frame trap at 4-4 afterwards. So 4-4 four, four is a very strong tool to have with Lily to keep your opponents honest at range and at plus frames. Back one is also pretty strong with Lily because back one four is only minus 11 on block, which means it's pretty like relatively safe. You won't get punished too hard against most characters. So you can really harass with back one and block into whatever lows you want. You want to go for pressure. You can do a lot with back one. And if your opponent likes to disrespect back one, you can finish the string with back one four. Lily's quirks are for three plus four. It's plus six on block. And the normal hits, it does a ballerina spin for even more damage for some damage and even more plus frames. So this is going to be like one of your main plus frame lockdown with Lily because this is something that she particularly really excels at. So you can, this is how you start your pressure and it's also good because it comes from Lily's Quirks of Dash which we will call Duke Light. So Duke Light can actually go under highs and jobs meaning you can use this to approach your opponent and then you can use this to apply pressure on them. Another move with Lily is her 4-3. 4-3 is one of her main homing moves. Now the range is a little bit short so you want to use it up close. On counter hit, you get a free course over the free course over for three. And on normal hits, you get a knockdown, which you can apply pressure with Lily afterwards. Remember, Lily gets a lot of knockdowns in her tool set, so it's important to notice. Another move with Lily you're, you're gonna use a lot is down for three plus four. Down for three plus four is a long range normal hit launcher. So as you can see, so ideally you're gonna use this as a whip punisher, or you can use it to approach the opponent with on block there is a mind game to play so you can hold back to block most things 
or you can hold them back to make some stuff with. It's a mind game on block and it's a situation to be studied for sure. You can use it as a whip punisher from range or you can just use it to approach and fish for a launcher. Lily's offer 3 is just your typical hop kick. It has tracking to one side. It's a decent whip punisher. If you see your opponent whiff something up close, you can use offer 3 as a quick whip punisher. Or if you just simply read a low coming or you just use it as a panic tool, you can use hop kick as an option for this. While standing 4 is pretty strong with Lily because it's safe, it knocks down, meaning you can go for your Okusemi afterwards, between your lows or maybe your mids, so it's a pretty strong knockdown tool. You can use it as a Punisher for lows or you can use this as a safe mid poke. You can approach the opponents with the aforementioned Duke Lights and you can use while standing 4. So this is strong if your opponent likes to be ducking for this. So if your opponent's looking stuck this because it's a high, this is when you can start introducing your mids. Another move with Lily is her FC Denford one. FC Denford one is strong because it's 14 frame, so it's quite fast. On counter hit, you get a free follow up. So typically you want to use this when you feel like your opponent's getting a bit aggressive. So you just kind of duck, make something worth with the duck and use FC Denford one. Another strong thing about FC Denford one is that it goes under highs but it can also go under certain characters mids so it's worth learning those situations as well so FC Denford 1 even on normal hits you get a knockdown which Lily has plenty of in her tool set and again you can apply your pressure from there and your Oki Down 3 is going to be one of your main low pokes with Lily because it has very good range it has very good tracking and on counter hit you get some extra plus frames 100% this is going to be one of your main tools with Lily just to harass the opponents with, make them look out for this, and when they start ducking, that's when you can start applying your mids, or when they start trying to mash against down 3 in Fear of Fish, that's when you can back off, make them whiff, and whip punish them, or you can slap on forward 4 to keep them honest. So you want to force the opponents and frustrate them with Lily's down 3. It's only plus 1 on hit, so it's not too adventurous, but the whole point is to get them attack, so Lily can evade them with her side step, so Lily can evade the opponent's retaliation with her side step. Down one two is something you're gonna use for Lily. Now down one two is more of a pressure tool. So if you if you think your opponent is going to attack you after this, this is when you can start applying stuff like Lily's done for, or you can start applying stuff like Lily's back turn one plus two, or you can start applying stuff like Lily's. Back turn 2, if you really read that they're going to do something. I'm going to talk about back turn game a little bit more in, in a while. You can also just do down 1 by itself. And some people won't go for a punish on it because they'd be looking out for the high. So when you do down 1 by itself, they block it just still looking out for the high. You can almost get away with the down 1 by itself. It's a very annoying low to deal with. And especially at the wall, they can't back dash away. So they're forced to deal with like a looping situation with down 1 2. So when they get frustrated, you can finish it sometimes and get walls blocked. 444 is going to be one of Lily's main pokes or main lows. So 444 is strong because it's quite beefy. As you can see, it does a lot of damage. It's not too unsafe on block. It's only minus 12, so it's not too unsafe. And you can go into back turn if you want. On, on counter hit, you can go into one of her heat engagers. Corsair cover 3 is a new move that Lily got in this game. This move is really strong because it's safe on block. It, it's also a very strong counter, a uh, very strong Oki tool. So if you think your opponent's gonna stay on the ground, you can use Quirks of 3 to hit them on the ground. And if they get up on blockish, it's safe anyway. And it's a very strong combo filler as well. Another move with Lily you're gonna use is 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is one of her heat engagers. It's a high, it's a bit slow, but it does chip damage on block and it's only minus two which means you can still step a lot of things with Lily. So this is going to be one of your main moves. Let's talk about Lily's heat engager. So what 2 plus 4 was one of the heat engagers that you want to use to apply pressure with. 3 1 is also going to be one of your heat engagers that you can use to whip punish with. So if you see the opponent whip something you can use 3 1 as a quick punish and in heat you can get a follow up afterwards. And another Lily's heat engager is her one back turn one four. However, this is not too useful. You're not gonna get many situations where you lance back one back turn one four. 
so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Then let's talk about Lily's back turn game. So Lily has many ways to access her back turn. So like I said, down one two is also one of them. Four 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 is also one of them. But you can also access back turn by doing back turn three plus four. Or sorry, back three plus four. So what does Lily do out of her back turn? So she can do back turn one plus two, which is a 13 frame launcher. It's only minus 11, so you're not gonna get a big punish for it. And you get a combo from it. Back turn two is a 14 frame power crush that if you send your opponents going to attack, you can use them. You can use this to keep them honest. However, it is unsafe on block, so I wouldn't use it too much. Back turn down two is also a very strong low with Lily. So if you want to harass your opponents, you can use this to slap on even more pressure. So she's plus five, meaning that you can frame trap where FC Denford won afterwards if you think they're going to mash. I remember what we said earlier. FC Denford won gives a pretty good follow up. Back turn down two plus four is a snake edge with Lily. It's barely reactable, but you can use this to like surprise your opponent sometimes. So you get follow up with back turn down three four. And also back turn down four is another low poke with Lily that you can use as a back turn. However, personally, I think you should just go for back turn down two. It's almost, it's better in like almost every way in my opinion. So let's talk about Lily and Heat. Yes, I know how bad that sounds. So Lily and Heat means that her feisty rubbish, which is her back turn back three and her back four. So these moves, the follow-ups of this move gets a lot stronger in Heat. So Lily gets access to a feisty rabbit low, which she gets a free while signing three afterwards, or if you have some execution, you can do a cross circle for three afterwards. It's a little bit difficult, but it's worth learning in my opinion because of the strong flip over and okay semi afterwards. And you can also mix the feisty rabbit stuff with the mid follow up, which is also a heat engager which is one of Lily's heat engagers, and in heat, it turns into a full combo starter. So it's definitely worth learning with Lily how to use her heat, and that kind of covers up her main tools in neutral, and including her heat system. So let's get into some other things now. So as you can see, Lily has very strong plus frames pressure, really high damage output, extremely good heat system. So her heat smash, she forces 50-50 between the back turn 1 plus 2, or the back turn snake gauge, or wherever low you want for safety reasons. Lily also has access to all those plus frames I've mentioned, crazy OP tools, really strong punishments, and just overall I think a pretty good heat game, as I demonstrated earlier with the feisty rabbit low mix-ups. 
and just include and she has a low heat smash as well which is extremely strong to health in general so lily has amazing mix-ups on top of everything else that i mentioned so i think she's a really well rendered character at the moment she doesn't have much going in terms of weaknesses i would say she's a bit prone to being stepped as her tracking is a little bit on the weaker side however other than that, she is a very well rendered character and I think she's a really good spot on the tier list at the moment in Tekken 8. You can also check out all things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. Thanks for watching.